Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly news report keeping you up to date on the latest happenings here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. The winter weather may have been unpredictable, but work at the site has been moving full speed ahead, with many important milestones being checked off the list. In late February, the first of 34 wall submodules for Unit 4 CA-20 was upended, marking the start of the assembly process. When completed, CA-20 will reach five stories high and weigh in at 1,100 tons. Once it's placed in the nuclear island, this unit will house various plant components, including an area for used fuel storage. We had a very important visitor to the site in February. Nuclear Regulatory Commission Chairman Stephen Burns toured the site with Buzz Miller, President of Southern Nuclear Development, and Mark Rockhorst, Vice President of Construction for both units. Not only did Chairman Burns get a first-hand look at the progress being made at the site, but he also toured the Vogel 3 and 4 control room simulator, featuring the new AP1000 digital control technology. As you can tell, February was an incredibly busy month at the site, but perhaps one of the most significant events happened off-site. On February 27th, the 12th Vogel Construction Monitoring Report was filed with the Georgia Public Service Commission. The report included a status update on the Vogel 3 and 4 project. Here with more on the story is David McKinney, Vice President of Nuclear Development. In our filing, we're requesting that the Commission verify and approve $169 million in costs that were incurred during the six-month reporting period. Now, it's important to remember that safety and quality will always be the top priorities for the Vogel 3 and 4 project. We will not compromise on either. The 12th VCM report addresses our new expected in-service dates of 2019 for Unit 3 and 2020 for Unit 4. The report also addresses the company's new total construction and capital cost of slightly more than $5 billion. Now for our customers, the cost of Vogel 3 and 4 is now projected to be lower than the 12% peak rate increase originally anticipated at the time of certification back in 2009. We're now projecting to be within a range of 6 to 8% increase in rates at the peak with over 4% of that already in rates. So that means according to the current forecast, rates are expected to only increase slightly more than 2% for the remainder of the project. This reduction in customer impacts is due to benefits such as DOE loan guarantees, production tax credits, and a competitive financing strategy. And our economic studies continue to show that these new units remain the best option to meet long-term electricity growth in Georgia by providing reliable electricity for future generations. Thanks, David, for giving us the latest information on the 12th VCM filing. March saw the delivery of the Unit 3 steam generator, making the journey by land and sea all the way from South Korea to the port of Savannah. Many vital components have arrived at the port through the duration of the Vogel 3 and 4 project. It's a meticulous process to offload pieces of this size, and we're very fortunate to have the largest port on the East Coast in our backyard, here in the state of Georgia. The Unit 3 steam generator is one of two, weighing in at 1.3 million pounds that will be placed in the containment vessel. Once all of that electricity is generated, we'll need to get it delivered to our customers. That's where our transmission project comes into the story. We recently spoke with Jeff Stansel, General Manager of Vogel Transmission Construction to find out the latest on this vital part of the Vogel 3 and 4 project. Just like the nuclear project is progressing well, transmission also, our part, continues to make great progress. Our responsibilities include not only building new, but also modifying existing transmission substations and lines in order to reliably connect units 3 and 4. We've engaged over 300 transmission construction workers on the project, and most importantly, we continue to work safely, and we continue to stay ahead of key plant milestones. One of our biggest challenges is complete rebuild of the existing Vogel 1 and 2 switchyard. And in doing that, most of our work is while the units are in operation and running, and ultimately we have to protect the equipment in service to ensure we have no negative impact. So one of our key milestones is completing the new substation and transmission facilities that will enable us to meet the plant milestone for startup testing. And that happens next year. 
In addition to that, we have a couple of key milestones on our major 55 mile transmission line that we're building. It's a brand new line. And with that, we have completed eight miles of the first section of construction with Georgia Power Company transmission employees. And we will be completing later this year the right of way clearing, which will facilitate construction on the remaining 47 miles of line. We have had a couple of great accomplishments in the area of safety. And first is our employees have worked project to date for four and a half years, target zero. No recordable injuries, no lost work days. That is an outstanding accomplishment and contribution to the project. In addition to that, we've also been successful in keeping our commitments and ensuring nuclear safety, which is very critical on this project. We ensure our work controls and, and every step we take meets all the requirements to ensure that the plant operates safely and it operates without impact. We have new transmission switch yards and lines that will be placed in service this year to facilitate startup testing on unit three. And then we have some major project work which includes like the substation that we're in and the main new Vogel Thompson 500 transmission line that will be placed in service by the end of 2017. Contributing to the success of transmission has been a team effort with Southern Nuclear and it's also been an effort of all of our transmission groups, design, construction, operations, and maintenance that have contributed to our success thus far. Thanks so much, Jeff, for updating us on the most recent developments in the transmission story. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey as we build the first new nuclear in 30 years. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time for more great stories here on the Vogel Timeline Report.